Deacon would like to acknowledge the Pequawarung people of the Eastern Ma Nation, the Wadawurrung people of the Kulin Nation, and the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, on which our campuses are located. In many ways, exploring how to care for country is at the heart of our sustainability ambition. It's why our sustainability commitments exist, and it's what informs our strategies and vision to create a climate-ready campus. In 2022, we watched as these strategies were transformed from paper into projects, setting the scene for even more meaningful progress in 2023. Our emissions, water, energy and waste results tell the story of campuses starting to come back to life. But despite increased campus activity, we stayed true to our commitments and remain on track to meet our 2025 goals. At Deakin University, we are committed to responsible resource management and enhancing the environment for future generations. With more on-campus activity in 2022, we saw a slight increase of 6% in water usage from 2021. La Nina caused wetter than usual winter-spring periods across our campuses, providing an opportunity to decrease irrigation requirements, leading to a 33% reduction in water usage from 2019. In 2022, we saw a 46% reduction in emissions from the 2019 baseline. This was largely driven by fewer visitors to campus. As campus activity increases, it's likely that emissions will also rise, but our commitment to achieve carbon neutrality by 2025 will help tackle this issue. Since 2019, we've made significant progress reducing our energy consumption by 10%. Our use of renewable energy has increased as well, with nearly 20% of our energy coming from renewable sources. Waste to landfill figures have been trending up in the past three years due to increased campus activity. However, our landfill figures remain 34% lower than the 2019 year. Sustainable transport was in the spotlight in 2022. We drew on the transport and parking strategy that was launched in 2021, as well as new transport behaviours associated with hybrid modes of work and study to implement several initiatives designed to reduce our community's reliance on combustion engine vehicles. We partnered with Lime to bring a shared electric bike scheme to the Geelong region. And in 2022, we saw 3,900 riders, students, staff and community members use the convenient and sustainable mode of travel. We laid the groundwork to install two electric vehicle chargers at the Warren Ponds campus in early 2023, and our Burwood-based EV chargers saw 2,500 hours of usage over 2022. We also worked with the government to improve public transport options servicing our Burwood campus, resulting in an additional 2,000 plus bus services per week. This provides our students, staff and community with more sustainable options to access our Burwood campus. Our integrated water management plan sprang into action, starting with a significant project co-funded by the Victorian Higher Education State Investment Fund to convert the chain of ponds running through our Warren Ponds campus into constructed wetlands. One by one, the ponds were drained, sediment removed, banks reshaped, and aquatic and terrestrial plants planted. Animals, including turtles, birds, and yabbies, were safely relocated from each pond beforehand and placed in the water after works were complete. Once the wetlands are functioning, they will have improved water quality, provide 30% increased stormwater capacity, and set solid foundations to enhance biodiversity. Through the Integrated Water Management Plan, we also completed metering, flood mitigation and stormwater works and provided a platform for a living lab project within the School of Engineering that investigated stormwater management, sewerage and blockage detection. This was supported and partially funded by Barwon Water. Biodiversity loss is one of the planet's greatest threats. In 2022, Deakin's first comprehensive biodiversity strategy was completed. The foundational document is designed to combat the challenge of biodiversity loss within the environments that we manage by ensuring we protect, enhance and restore our campus's unique flora and fauna values and inspire people to connect with nature, 
Importantly, at the heart of our focus is a commitment to embrace the values of the traditional custodians and respect country. In 2022, we planted over 3,000 indigenous trees, shrubs and grasses through volunteer tree planting days at Warren Ponds and Warrnambool. We revegetated the banks and installed fish habitat along Warrnambool's Hopkins River. And we signed on as a partner of the Gardeners Creek Collaboration, an initiative that will restore and protect Gardeners Creek, which runs through our Burwood campus. We also put 180 semi-mature trees in the ground across Warren Ponds, Warnable and Burwood to increase our tree canopy cover and build our resilience to climate change. As the actions in the biodiversity strategy become practice from 2023, we will focus on mapping our existing biodiversity values, beginning to revegetate environments to attract endangered species like the swift parrot, and designing living lab projects to engage students. Our commitment to be carbon neutral by 2025 was translated into action during 2022 with the approval of a strategy and funding. A new CN 2025 project team was established and is deep in planning for projects within six key areas that are expected to deliver over 14,000 tonnes of emission reductions. Through these projects, Deakin will be able to better understand and utilise our buildings, reduce electricity consumption, replace building infrastructure that is ageing or consuming fossil fuels, and source electricity from renewables. CN 2025 touches everything we do as an organisation. In the post-COVID world, this includes our approach to blended work and study, and 2022 saw us explore the spaces, technology and systems needed to support students and staff to balance remote and on-site attendance, and in turn, use our buildings and space in a more effective and sustainable manner. The initiatives we've progressed in 2022 have each been impactful in their own right. But together, they're helping us to realise our climate-ready campus, bringing this vision to life in tangible and practical ways. With these important foundations laid over the last 12 months, we're set to see Deakin contribute to a more sustainable world throughout 2023.